Today we are going to take a look at how to reconcile your bank account in QuickBooks Online. That may be some foreign terms to you. You may wonder what is reconciling with my bank account. So let's talk about that for just a second. When we're looking at reconciling our bank account, we want to make sure that all the transactions that cleared our bank account, you wrote the check, you used your debit card, it went through your bank account. We wanna make sure that they're in QuickBooks in our bookkeeping software. They wanna make, we wanna make sure they're in our check register in QuickBooks so the information will show up on our profit and loss statement or our balance sheet so we have accurate books and records. So that whole process of making sure those transactions is there is called reconciling. We're gonna take a look at that reconciliation process through QuickBooks Online. So first, to do that, to reconcile, you're gonna be in your QuickBooks. You're going to go to Accounting, which is towards the bottom left of your screen, and then you're gonna to go to Reconcile. And once you do that, you're going to need information off of your bank statement that you got, whether your bank mails you your bank statement or whether you get it online, you may have to log into your online banking, print it off yourself, that's dependent on your bank, but you will need information off of that bank statement to input into QuickBooks. Once you get to that point, you have your paper ready, you've got all of your transactions added into QuickBooks, whether you manually put them in or whether you imported them from your bank account and both of those actions are in a separate video that we've already done so you can go back and take a look at how to add transactions into your bank account and connect your bank account to where they'll automatically download so both of those are in previous videos take a look at those so at this point we've already got that in there we're ready to roll with reconciling so on this screen it tells you which account you're in. So you can have multiple bank accounts in QuickBooks Online. Right now we just have one, so we're gonna make sure that that's the right one we're choosing. We have our beginning balance. Our beginning balance is actually from our previous reconciliation that we've already done. So then the ending balance is gonna come from your bank statement. So on your bank statement, they will show you your beginning balance Number one key thing is this can be in different formats depending on your bank, but you're always gonna have a previous balance, total debits, total credits, and then ending balance. So we wanna put our ending balance in for this place right here. So in this instance, it's $15.66. Ending date is once again gonna come off of your bank statement. So your bank statement will show you the time period that it is for. And so this one was for January 12th to February 9th. So we will select February 9th and then we can tell it to start reconciling. So in QuickBooks online, if you've downloaded all of your transactions, inputted them, reconciling is pretty seamless for you. QuickBooks does an amazing job on making sure that everything's in there for you automatically. If you hand put things in and you don't have your bank account reconciled, you will need to check off a lot of the boxes over here, over here on the right. If there's a check mark here, that means it's cleared your bank. But since we have downloaded everything from our bank account and we added it into the check register, which you can see in the previous video, QuickBooks is actually reconciling for me. It does a lot of the work for me. It's already check marked off over here. All these things have been added. But if you go back up to the top, it's telling us there's a difference of $520.99. That means there's a check missing. There is a check that has cleared the bank that is not in my check register in QuickBooks. So how do you find that? Well, you would actually compare your bank statement to what's in QuickBooks Online by scrolling through here. And then you can go back, once you find out what it is, then you can tell this to finish for later, or a save for later, sorry, and then go back and add in that transaction. So what has happened here is we've either missed adding something when we were adding all of our stuff through banking. So we're gonna go back to banking. If we scroll down here, Oh, right there is five, a check for $520.99. It's still sitting in our queue. It hasn't been added to the check register. So we're going to tell it to add. 
And then we're going to go back to reconciling. We can tell it to resume reconciling. And then now we're ready to roll. Now there is no differences. At this point, we know that for the time period of January 12th to February 9th, that all of our transactions that cleared the bank are in our QuickBooks check register. So we know we have accurate records for our profit and loss and balance sheet. So at this point, we can tell it to finish now. And it tells us that we're done. We can view a report if we'd like to, um, just to print that out and keep with our bank statement. Just depending on how you like to keep your records, you can also come back in and print it at a later date. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions on reconciling, drop us a note. Um, make sure you hit like and subscribe and have a great day.